What's up everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into a really interesting new open source AI music model that just dropped and it's called Songbloom. The best way to think about how it works is to compare it to zero shot voice cloning but for an entire song. You feed it a short 10 second audio sample to capture the style and then you give it a completely new set of lyrics. From just that, Songbloom generates a full track that clones the original's vocal style, instrumentation, and overall vibe, and honestly, it does it pretty amazingly. The team behind this, a collaboration between researchers at the Chinese University of Hong Kong, Tencent AI Lab, and others, has recently released this model with some very noteworthy results. And they aren't shying away from comparisons to the big commercial players like Suno and Udio. According to their benchmark tests, Songbloom isn't just keeping up. In some areas, it's actually pulling ahead. For instance, in one key metric that measures how well the generated song sticks to the provided lyrics, the phoneme error rate, Songbloom's full FT model scores a 5.49%. To put that in perspective, Suno V4.5 scored 24.67%. Lower is better here, meaning Songbloom is way more accurate at actually singing the words you give it. This is a huge deal because it tackles one of the biggest frustrations with current AI music tools. Okay, quick pause. You guys keep saying you want to see me really test this stuff, or the number one comment I get is do a tutorial, and you're 100% right. To bring you step-by-step -step guides that actually work, and to do it for every new AI tool that drops, we need to level up. To do that, we need some serious horsepower my current PC just doesn't have. So, I've launched the AI Beast PC goal on Ko-Fi. If you want to see those deep dive tutorials and real stress tests happen, that's how we're going to do it. The link is right in the description. Huge thank you for believing in the channel. All right, back to it. Let's actually hear what Songbloom can do. I'm on their official demo page and they've provided a bunch of examples in both Chinese and English. Let's start with a Chinese one. You can see here on the left, they've provided the full lyrics with a clear structure, verse, chorus, the works. All the model needs is that, plus this 10 second audio clip as a reference for the style. First, let's listen to that input sample. Okay, so that's the vibe it's aiming for. Now, I don't speak Chinese, so I can't judge how well it's singing the exact lyrics, but we can absolutely listen for everything else. The vocal style, the instruments, and the overall mood. Let's hear the results Songbloom generated. Chinsu 我心却彷徨 Wow, okay. Just for direct comparison, let me play that short input sample again. The final output is an incredibly close match. The model has absolutely nailed the style, the singer's voice, and the instrumentation. From a purely musical standpoint, that's a fantastic generation. Now let's move on to the English samples, which are the ones I can really dig into. There's a bunch here, and I'll drop the link below so you can check them all out yourself. Let's start with this one. We've got the lyrics on the left, and here's the 10 second reference audio. Oh. 
Okay, now one really important thing I have to mention. Many of these reference clips are very famous songs. To avoid getting a copyright strike on YouTube, I might have to mute these little 10 second samples. You know how it is. But the great thing is, you'll get a perfect idea of the original by just listening to Songbloom's output, which is the whole point. So let's check out what it created from that sample. Skin lights and peach moonbeam. Push us slow like a lazy stream. Walk all in denim seams. Sweet night, no way in the air. Love soft groove in the midnight glare. Fingers trace the southern line. Echoes hum like vintage wine. Uh, barbecue smoke. Just listen to that. The vocal delivery is right on the money, following the lyrics accurately. But beyond that, the singer's tone, the style, the instruments, it's a spot-on clone. The quality of the singing itself is what really impresses me. A few days ago, I checked out another AI song generator, also from Tencent, I believe, and the quality just wasn't on this level. These tracks sound clean and genuinely good to listen to. All right, and as I'm walking you through these demos, some of you might be wondering how I get my screen recordings to look so clean and easy to follow. That's all thanks to this video sponsor, Focusy, the tool I'm using to create this entire video right now. It's a game-changing screen recorder because it automates almost all of the editing work that usually takes hours. You can see how it automatically tracks my cursor and adds those smooth zoom effects to keep your attention on what's important. It also generates automatic captions and adds these professional looking backgrounds with just a click. It works flawlessly on both Windows and Mac and you can export in crystal clear 4K. Best of all, the lifetime license is incredibly affordable. So if you want to seriously level up your video creation and save a ton of time, hit that special link in the description to grab your lifetime license for Focusy. All right, now for that next song bloom example. Let's try this one. I'm so okay, that's the input. Let's see how song bloom handles the different voices. Can't you see the chains of injustice binding the poor hands and feet where greed of the wealthy leaves a trail on empty streets so heavy and pale? Hear the rhythm of struggling hearts, echoes of voices long mute. The system turns its gears, the humble juggle seeds of revolt, taking root to foreign new. This next reference sample is interesting because it's from a well-known song that features multiple singers. This is a great test for the model. Drip on the hood of I ride Sip slow where the secrets hide Honey voice love on the stereo play You look away, don't mean to say Cool breeze on a Carolina night Skin on skin in the dashboard light Every beat in time with you Slow burn love that feels brand new So, 
as you can hear, it captured the song's style and the instrumentals perfectly again, but it collapsed the multiple vocal parts into a single vocalist voice. This seems to be a current limitation of the model. It's clearly geared towards generating single vocalist tracks right now, which is still what most songs are. It's an understandable limitation for an early version. Let's hear one final example. This reference clip is also quite complex, and here's the output. Midnight sways on velvet feet Echoes hum in a dim lit street Eyes closed let the trumpet speak Life flows in a smoky beat Dancing stone sidewalk cracks Destiny riding smooth sex tracks Whisper dreams in candlelight Where jazz paints the black and white Sip a rhythm Kiss on fade Light through shadows Again, what an amazing result. It's almost uncanny how well it replicates the exact vibe from that tiny 10 second sample. The same vocal timbre, the same instrumental feel, and the same style. Now, as of making this video, there isn't a public demo like a hugging face space where we can test this with our own lyrics. Overall, my first impression is that this is a very, very impressive model. The quality and consistency are top tier for an open source project. All right, so how does Songbloom stack up against the competition? As we saw in the benchmarks, it's a serious threat. Here is a fantastic comparison table. Against other open source models like UA, Diff Rhythm, and Song Editor, Songbloom consistently comes out on top in almost every metric, from audio quality to musicality. But the real headline is its performance against commercial giants like Suno and Udio. The fine-tuned version, called Songbloom Full FT, even outperforms Suno V4.5 in 3 out of 4 aesthetic scores, which is an automated way to judge how pleasing a song is. It also scores the highest in Mulan cycle consistency, which is basically it's the best at matching the musical style of the reference audio you provide. This shows it's not just technically proficient, but also artistically capable. So what's the secret sauce here? How does Songbloom achieve this? Well, it uses a really clever hybrid approach. Existing models usually fall into two camps, autoregressive models, which generate music step by step like a language model, and diffusion models, which start with noise and refine it into a song. Both have their weaknesses. Autoregressive models can lose coherence over long songs, but diffusion models can struggle with fine details. Songbloom combines the best of both worlds with a technique they call interleaved autoregressive sketching and diffusion-based refinement. Think of it like this. Instead of trying to generate the entire high-quality song at once, Songbloom first creates a rough musical sketch of the song. The sketch is a basic course version that outlines the structure and melody. Then it uses a diffusion model to refine that sketch, filling in all the high fidelity details, the rich instrumentals, and the clear vocals. It does this in an interleaved or patch-by-patch -patch manner. It generates a bit of the sketch, refines it, then uses that refined audio to inform the next part of the sketch, and so on. This constant back and forth between sketching and refining is what helps it maintain incredible coherence and quality from start to finish. Okay, now for the question on every developer's mind, can you run this yourself? And the answer is a big yes, you can. The code for Songbloom has been released on GitHub. You can find the link in the description. While the exact VRAM requirements for inference aren't specified, given the model size, the full version has 2 billion parameters, you'll need a pretty beefy setup with significant VRAM. The GitHub page have more detailed instructions for anyone brave enough to try and get it running. 
So there you have it. Songbloom is a massive step forward for open source AI music generation. It's coherent, high quality, and it actually follows the lyrics you give it better than some of the top commercial models out there. The fact that it's open source is a huge win for the entire community, and I cannot wait to see what people build with this. All that's all for today. Let me know in the comments what you think of Songbloom. Is this the Suno killer we've been waiting for? As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.